Jason Christie here from punktv.ca from the boys of Geodose. Would you guys say hello? Hello. Hi. And this is Derek and Pat. So uh, tell us uh, how's the tour been going for you guys and uh, how many shows are you guys playing uh, on Warp this year? Ah, uh, the tour's going really good and we're doing the whole thing, so it should be really fun. Are there Cheetos ladies? Ah, uh, not really, no. Are there loads and loads of stinky Cheetos boys? Yes. <laughs> I figured as much. All right, so I know you guys got a new album coming out. Why don't you tell us about that? Uh, Bone Palace Ballet comes out on Equal Vision um, September 4th, so it's coming out pretty soon. So we just finished the record in the studio and then did this tour. Comes out pretty much during our headlining tour in the fall, so. Good timing. Mm hmm definitely, definitely. All right, as Bone Palace Ballet. Mm hmm All right, and what does that mean? Uh, it's from a Charles Bukowski book, and it's like one of the titles of a poem book. So um, how does Charles Bukowski and the philosophy of the beats uh, work, and the existential philosophy of the beats work its way into the Chiodos, you know, music and uh, lyrics? Um, you know, that's a good question. It's just kind of, it's just kind of a theme we picked off of, you know? So it was just like an idea we went with. It's not really based off any of the writing or anything. It's just kind of inspired by that, so. It's a good name. Yeah. We're stoked on it, so. All right, and tell us about the creative on this album. Uh, did you guys do uh, anything different in making this album? Did you guys write it on the road, or was this a, pr uh, a studio-written album? Yeah, we wrote a lot in the studio, like yeah. maybe half of it. And I know you guys uh, play a lot. I mean, i just seen you back in Edmonton. Yeah. It felt like a couple months ago. Probably was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, how does uh, the road uh, experience translate into the studio experience, and how do you guys capture that live uh, uh, energy and, and recapture it in the studio? I don't know. <laughs> do you try it just, to? It just kind of happens, I guess. Like, we just write songs that we want to listen to and just have fun playing them and stuff. So it's all we can really do. It's write music, and hopefully it turns out well. It's, got, it's I don't know. There's no really way you can capture the intensity you either have it or you don't you know in the studio so what's the most commonly asked question of Chiodos how do you say your name okay Chiodos Chiodos yeah what is the second most commonly asked question of Chiodos um I don't even know what how about where did the name come from yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to be that guy but I'm not curious go ahead uh, it's from a movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space and it's basically classic just, yeah just like the producers of this like cheesy horror film so I actually got to go to the studio once which was awesome nice all right so uh, we got two questions that we ask everybody and the first one is which of the following experiences have you had have you seen the face of God have you had an alien encounter or have you seen a ghost uh, I'd say out of all the maybe a ghost I don't remember when though yeah I go with the ghost I guess I must have been kind of maybe. maybe yeah kind of maybe a little blurry vision at that time if I saw anything so I don't know and the last question is what would surprise kids most to learn about Chiodos uh, just to never expect anything <laughs>